Introduction to Data Processing Engine. Data Processing Engine is an extract, transform, and load tool that helps you shape your available Salesforce data into data that matters to you. Collect data, configure how to process that data, and then write the results as new or updated records. Use Data Processing Engine, or DPE, for your business requirements to predict patterns for the future based on historical data and to calculate sales bonuses, promotion liabilities, account purchase credits, and so on. Here's how it works. DPE uses definitions to transform data for standard and custom objects, data cloud objects, and analytics data sets. Think of a definition as a container for your configuration that defines how to transform your source data and where you want the results to go. Definitions include the configuration where you provide the data source, the transformation requirement of that data source, and the write-back object to save your results. Let's move on to the element that makes the transformation possible, nodes. Each node type in your definition performs different actions on the data. Nodes help you define the source object and how the data needs to be transformed. Each definition must contain at least one data source node and one write-back node. Think of a data source node as the start point in your definition and the write-back node as the endpoint. Data source nodes define the source data that you want to transform. The source data can be standard and custom objects, analytics data sets, or data cloud objects. For example, a data source could be an account name, city, or revenue. Write-back nodes define where to store the transformation results. The results can be stored in standard and custom objects, analytics data sets, or data cloud objects. So, you defined your source data and where you want it to go, but how can we transform the source data so that it's useful and meaningful? That's where the other node types come in. Use forecast nodes to make predictions about future values based on historical data. For example, estimate the order quantity for the next four quarters based on orders placed in the last five years. Use filter nodes to select records based on one or more conditions. For example, if you want your data set to contain only records for San Francisco-based leads, specify San Francisco as the filter condition value. Use join nodes to merge the information from two nodes into a new output. For example, a marketing team wants to send targeted promotions based on the customer location and education. To gather the required data, the team needs records from two objects, customer city and customer education level. There are many more nodes to transform your data, such as append node, custom node, formula node, group and aggregate node, hierarchies node, slices node. After you configure the nodes to transform your data, save the definition, activate it, and run it. A batch job is automatically created to process the definition. Track its progress and overall status in monitor workflow services. When the run is successful, you can find your transformation results in the target object, the one you set up in your write-back node. To learn more, check out these resources, or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.